Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Theo. I'm a Cambridge alumnus and currently doing a master's in international studies in Vienna. In this video, I'd like to show you how I use Notion to keep track of my tasks as a student, YouTuber, and more recently, communications manager for an EU funded project. But first, a little bit about what Notion actually is. I like to see Notion as an all-in-one productivity workspace that helps you keep track of all your personal as well as work-related projects. Two major benefits that Notion brings are that it's very customizable, so you can do almost anything you want with it, as long as you know how. And secondly, it's got great design, so once you've set it up, it's very easy to navigate through your tasks and keep track of what you've got to do and what the most important tasks are. Two downsides of Notion are that with all that customizability also comes quite a steep learning curve and it's not that well optimized for mobile yet. That being said, I use Notion for three main purposes, for task management, for information management or note taking, and for team collaboration on projects. Before we jump right into my Notion workspace and see how I've got everything set up, I think it's time for a disclaimer. So I'm still a novice at using Notion. I'm still climbing that learning curve. I've been using Notion for about two to three months now and it's proven quite useful. All I want to do in this video is to show you how I use it at this point in time to manage my various projects. I'm aware there's a lot I can improve and optimize in my workflow and the way I've got everything set up and organized here in Notion. But for the time being, this is how I'm using it and it's proving to be helpful. So it might be helpful for you as well to see how I use it. However, this is not an advanced Notion class. If you're looking for something like that, then you might be better off checking out some other YouTubers. Some of my favorites are Thomas Frank, Ali Abdal, and more recently Karma Medic. Now let's jump right into Notion and see how I use it. So this right here is my personal workspace. We'll talk a little bit about this and then I'll show you the team workspace where I manage everything related to the EU project. So here on the left I've got all my pages and the three I use most are the class notes, the notes and draft page, and the overall task. List. Now let's start with the class notes. This is what I mainly use to take notes in class. So when I'm attending Zoom classes now I've got Notion opened up on one side of the screen and Zoom on the other side and that way I can see the slides and the professor speaking as well as my notes where I'm typing and for example for history I type a lot so here is an example of notes from my uh, history lecture for from the latest one about the causes of the First World War and I like taking notes in Notion because it's really easy to get them organized and have headings of different sizes as well as uh, bullet lists which are my favorites. Also a cool feature that I sometimes use is the toggle feature so if you press slash uh, that's a forward slash and type toggle then it's a toggle list and you can say causes of the first world war and then under the toggle you can create a new bullet point list and say cause one cause two cause three and then you can hide it so when you start revising your material you can just uh, hide all the questions and think a little bit about them yourself and do some active recall and after that open the toggle and see what you got right and what you didn't. So this is basically how I take my notes. I do mainly bullet point lists with headings, but also sometimes some numbered lists. Now, once I'm done typing all the notes, I assign it to a certain lecture, to a certain module. And I've got all these core modules here, the political science, the history, economics, international law and EU law, and the career talks as well as French. And this one is a history lecture, so it's assigned to core history. And the type is lecture because I'm also attending talks and seminars, uh, study groups, and uh, I can assign it a certain tag, which uh, I like because then I can organize them based on that, as you'll see in a few moments. I also like to have a structure in how I title my notes, and the reason for that you'll see in a minute. So these are the history notes from the eighth lecture of term one. Now these uh, history lectures go on to term two as well and the exam is only at the end of term two so that's why I've got the term here as well. Numbering the title like this helps me keep it organized here in the list 
because it then goes uh, alphabetically and uh, by numbers as well. On the whole, I've got all my class notes organized in a table view with all these tags helping me keep them in one place and also the titles giving them the order. A very cool feature is that all the tags are automatically color coded so I can immediately tell them apart and see how many lectures I had for each class, each module and uh, what I've got notes for. Down here there are the notes from the career talks and they're labeled career in pink and some random uncategorized stuff at the end. So this is basically it for the class notes. Whenever I start a new class I just click new and say um, economics term 1 lecture 10 for example then assign it to economics lecture and start typing away. That's basically my process every time. Uh, I don't actually have that many notes in Notion for economics because there are a lot of graphs there that I have to draw by hand and um, that's a whole new discussion but uh, I think a better example here would have been uh, political science scopes and methods or uh, international law for example. On that note, I've also got a video coming about the ways in which I'm preparing for my exams and I've got uh, four different exams with four different preparation methods because they're quite different in approach. So keep an eye out for that. Now let's go to the next page which are the notes and drafts. This is basically the heart and soul of how I'm organizing this YouTube channel. I know it's in a list with a few tags and a lot of uncategorized stuff and it, it looks a bit unorganized but uh, for me it's working at the moment so basically here I'm collecting all the information that comes my way throughout the day I've got uh, pages with notes for uh, very different stuff for uh, YouTube channel research to the new video ideas for the YouTube channel the newsletter ideas my newsletter is linked in bio if you want to subscribe and also my uh, reading and listening lists because I've been listening to a lot of uh, podcasts recently and I'm um, keeping track of what I want to listen next here. Also some gym routines that I use to put on some muscle. Now I haven't been able to go to the gym lately because of the lockdown but I'm trying to do something at home anyway. On the one hand this section helps me offload a lot of information that I would otherwise have to keep inside my brain to this workspace and then I don't have to think about it anymore, I just know it's here and uh, search for the relevant page and retrieve exactly the information that I'm looking for. Secondly, this section also helps me keep track of my uh, YouTube videos and my workflow for that is basically that every time I've got a new idea for a video, I type into this page called YouTube new video ideas and it's basically designed as a to-do list so I can tick them off once I've done them and uh, I just type new video idea, uh, show notion workflow. Then every time I sit down to do some writing for some video scripts, I just go through this list and have a look at what options I've got. Maybe I do a little bit of keyword research in this separate page. Then I pick one out and create a new page. I title it new video whatever it is about and tag it with a video script and then I start uh, typing the introduction and then section 1, section 2, section 3 and the outro. The nice thing about it is that if you just type quickly and don't have time to organize the information and make it uh, look better and more navigatable then you've just got those dots on the left and you can turn that into a heading let's say heading 2 for example and then this one you can turn into a heading as well and do that for all of those um, if not if you've got a bit of time then forward slash h2 enter and then just um, uh, type in like thumbnail ideas for example and then make a list idea 1 idea 2 and then um, for example you need title ideas so forward slash h2 title ideas keep on doing that until an entire script with 
together with thumbnail ideas and title ideas comes together. And that's basically how I flesh out a video idea. And then after I've got the script here, when I sit down to film a video, I just uh, bring it up on the screen and I can have it in front of me right while filming. Now there's a lot of room to improve here because as you can see there's no real transition between a uh, title, like an, a simple incipient idea and then the full script and ideas usually go through more stages and also I don't have uh, ticks, tick boxes for example for the scripts once I've uh, filmed the video so I don't exactly know which idea is uh, in which stage of its process at the moment I'm only doing one or two videos a week and that's um, not that difficult to keep track of. However, as I learn more about how to use Notion and as I get a bit more time to spend with it, I'll definitely be organizing this a bit better and um, I'll update you on that once it's uh, improved. Now the overall task list, it's quite simple. It's a to-do list with um, to-do tasks, the doing, section which are tasks in progress and the done section where are all the tasks that are completed. Now I'm currently working on my personal website, Wink, and these are some of the tasks that I've been uh, completing here, like uh, for example the uh, copy newsletters to website part, like for example copy newsletters to website because I want to have an archive of my past newsletter issues on my website and um, I've uh, copied a part of them up to now to the website but I've still got a lot more to do. I've also got tasks that are already completed. Now these could be deleted altogether but they're here just to make me feel better about having completed them. So I've written a motivation letter for a scholarship, I've edited last week's vlog, I've also made the start here page for the website and added links to my footer also for the website. Now what could be improved here is that uh, I should have a task list for each part of my uh, project. So if overall for the YouTube project I'm working on videos, on social media and on my website then I should have a task list for each one of those and also a separate task list for university type stuff like the scholarship. And so for the time being it's in this basic form but it's still proving helpful because every time I sit down to be a bit productive I just uh, bring up this task list and uh, have a look through the tasks that I need to complete and decide which ones I want to prioritize and just, then just uh, start doing them without having to uh, remember what I wanted to do that day without losing that time. Now on to the team workspace. Now here I'm collaborating with Alexandra on this uh, communications management for the project. It's an ecological awareness project happening in Romania. It's called Reducing the Ecological Footprint through Eco-Awareness. Here we've got a task list where I've added inline to-do lists for Alexandra and for myself. Now we've got these um, not started tasks, in progress tasks and completed tasks, uh, both of us and it's a good way to uh, keep ourselves coordinated and see what we've um, managed to do and what, what we still have to do. And also a space here for some extra notes that don't fit into these um, uh, pages. I always like to have a bit of uh, slack to write some unorganized ideas or uh, notes just for the sake of quickness and then I'll uh, reorganize them into these pages because Every one of these can be a page of its own and you can uh, type in stuff here as well. We've also got a calendar here to keep track of the deadlines. Uh, this month we haven't got any deadlines because uh, the project has just started, but there are some for next month and also a timeline which we're experimenting with because this is a new feature from Notion as well. Now something I'd like to do here in the future to improve how we organize things is uh, get rid of this table and just have everything on one page. The task lists as inline uh, to-do lists and also the calendar and the timeline and have everything scrollable on this page. The project has just started, that's why it's not very very developed, but uh, you get the idea of how it, this is going to go forward. So as you can see my own Notion journey is still a work in progress itself and this is the first video. If you'd like to see how this progresses, how I'm improving my workspace and optimizing it, then consider subscribing to my channel 
I make videos about productivity, study tips, and also the occasional study with me video. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Apparently, there's something called the YouTube algorithm that shows this video to more people if more people like it. Keep being productive, keep improving, take care of yourself, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.